Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, where we discuss the previous week in gaming, maybe over a topic or two. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me virtually, my co-host, Alex. Hello. How are you, Alex? I am doing very well. <sighs> very well? Yeah. I'm good. Are you good? You still quarantine? How's it? Give us the quarantine, quarantine <laughs> this update. This is a weekly quarantine update. Uh, same, same. Uh, you, literally, I go out once outside? a week. Yeah, I, I have gone outside today. <laughs> Just to breathe? <laughs> no, I mean I go. Okay, I go outside every day to check the mail. I go out into public once a week and i don't even get out of my car because i do the whole grocery you pickup, do the at pickup. Walmart. i did that today mm-hmm. that was very nice it's oh yeah i don't get out of the car they try to come up to my window i'm like no you sign it and then <laughs> i open the trunk for them and they put all my stuff in the trunk and i close it or they close it and then i leave i don't get out of that car <laughs> i'm just picturing you hitting the window like no get away yep <laughs> don't come to me don't come to you go there yep <laughs> But how is it for you? Um, it is okay. I took uh, the last few days off just mm-hmm. to kind of restart because mm-hmm. you know everything you know eventually gets a little overwhelming, especially yeah. with my job. But uh, I feel better. Mm-hmm. Nice break. I go back tomorrow. Okay. Um, so everything will be back tomorrow or tomorrow. Mm. Um, I'll tell you a funny story real quick. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> at my job, I get, I, I, uh, check someone out. Right. Okay. Uh, and I, cause I'm selling them a, a, an item. I sell okay. them an item and I go and I go and open the door and it's an older woman and I hand her the, the item and say, Hey, have a good day. This was probably the last day I worked before I went up mm-hmm. and she said, Oh, thank you. Uh, just lay it on the ground. And I was like, okay, laid it on the ground. She Lysol's the absolute like mess out of this thing. She like drowns <laughs> it. She like gets some Lysol just <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Respect. <laughs> yep. You don't know what you and did. I just closed the door and I was like, all right, cool. I would have been like, open the door, bring out a Lysol can and be like, you need more? <laughs> I'll get this side. <laughs> We're just killing this thing. With oh, it. It no. Was just fun. She was yeah. just so liberal with it. As if yep. to say, you are filthy. But I know she didn't mean that, but it was, so, mm. it was hilarious. Yeah, people people get nuts with this cleansing, which I don't I don't um, blame them. Well, this yeah. was an older woman, so I, I definitely blame didn't blame her. I was no, like, no, eh, for sure. you know what? You 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 earned that. <laughs> and see, as long as they're nice about it, like I I had. Yeah, she um, wasn't mean by no by no, any means. Yeah. She, was very, she was like, oh, can you put it on the ground? I was like, Sh- uh, sure, I put it yeah. on the ground, and then. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just, just, see, just I had a, destroying this thing. And see, I would have a customer. They'll come to pick something up. I'm like, oh, okay, let's be a couple minutes and I'll have it right out. So if you could just wait outside for me. The look on her face is like, <laughs> ugh. Like, like Un- really, unhappy. I can't wait in here. You can't give it to me now. I'm like, uh, no, I have to get it ready. So I'm like, go wait outside. Well, I, that's still, I, I still get people that are like, why can't I come in? I'm like, ah, do you not watch the news, bro? Do you I'm not? Very confused. Yeah, right. <laughs> but like, it's funny because why. she takes out her own box of Lysol wipes and wipes down our door and stuff like that <laughs> because she's so upset. All right. I don't understand. So after I get, uh, she comes back in because I'm not going to her car. She comes back in because I start waving yeah. at her. <laughs> uh, she gives her item. I grab my Lysol spray and wipes and wiped the door where she touched with her wipes. I was like, I don't want her stuff yet. Because she, she you don't was want, so you don't want rude. The wipes. <laughs> yeah, it happens, especially yeah. with these times. Everyone's everyone's always stressed out. Yep. Um, but we don't we don't do a run a I don't I don't even know what you'd call that an experience podcast. We do a gaming podcast. This uh, you can find us every Friday over on YouTube and the podcast service of your choice. If you enjoy us, you can make sure to like, comment, subscribe, send in your questions. And if you like us even more, then I got just the solution. You go over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. Give us a buck. Gets your exclusive every single month. Um, it gives you uh, privileged access to make sure your question gets read. If you put it down in the Patreon posts or any comments, you will be guaranteed to be read. It could be an insanity. 
some sort of swear word if if that if, if that uh, <laughs> floats your fancy. Anything you write, yeah, we're not I will here. make Alex we'll, read we'll it. Talk, yep, I'll talk. I'll read it. Did you whatever did it you says? Hear that? Anything you <laughs> whatever oh. it says. <laughs> If you are freeloader, don't worry, we are too. Just like I said before, like, comment, subscribe. Five stars everywhere. Leave us a nice review. And you can also scream at us on our socials at EVM9000. At Crazy Subscriber over on the tweets. Before we get into that, Alex, we mm-hmm. have some news stories today. Not too much, but not, not too, too little. Much. Yeah. But I have a question. I have What's, a question, Alex. What is your question? What have you been playing? I have been playing Final Fantasy VII. To be, for the first time, in fact, but I'm playing the remake. Me too. Not the original, because I could not get into that. But yeah, I, I, am, I am loving the remake so far. I am enjoying it myself. Yes. For context, Alex and I are both on Chapter 9. Yes. Um, and that's I halfway just, through the story, by the way. There's 18 chapters. And just for context for people who've probably played this game before. I, I assume most most people I assume is pretty popular, but um, mm-hmm. if you know, I just hit the honeybee in, and I did that whole thing, and, I, and they'll know what I mean by that. Alex will soon know that mm-hmm. as well. Um, but boy, does it get does it get fun? Does it, does it get fun? <laughs> it gets fun. It gets interesting. You'll see when you get there. I, I when I did it, I was like, why am I having fun? This is fun, <laughs> and I was having this is a I, game. I fun with it. Am I having now, fun? Am I having fun? So let's do a quick. We'll do a quick talk about this. Okay. See if we and we can give a spoiler free or spoiler in progress. Oh no no, it's spoiler free. I don't don't even think we can really spoil anything right now. Um, Yeah, good point. But I want to. uh, I want to give. I want Alex. I want to give you a grievance I have with this game. Mm, Go for it. Give you a grievance I have with this game. Why is everything a mini game? (laughs) And by what I mean by that is. Why is everything that I do seem to be tied to some sort of other thing? I would like to bring Exhibit A on my, in route to like Chapter Nine around that area, um, and I guess this is kind of spoiler or whatever. But you have to control these robot arms. Mm-hmm. Not a fan of that. No, I, I not a fan I, of that. I just did that part. I was not having fun with that. I was like, why is this in the game? Like, did someone, someone play this and was like, yeah, keep that in. Is this boring? It's annoying is this too because you get to like move it up and you can move it down. You get to pick her up, drop her oh, off. But you, pick but you can't. You can't do anything else when you have her. So no, nope. move her on this. Oh my god! And Jesus, you, if you hit something, really? it bounces and you get away. Oh my god! It's so far the beginning has has been a s- slow upturn so yeah. the very beginning from chapter one i say to chapter three or four that's dope that beginning mm. part yeah feels good and then it starts dipping just a little bit mm. and then it goes back up and then it goes back down especially when i'm fighting things mm-hmm. i feel awesome yeah especially when i can nail down the stagger mechanic make things yeah that's down. what i'm trying to get still get, kind of get used to is the staggering I have so much material which I like. Yeah, I, I have so much. I don't even know what to do with it. It's it's <laughs> real, that's real fun. Just I don't have out, much like, of those yet. The material I'm actually using every, almost every single one I have for someone. Have you have you been talking to the uh, Chantley little boy? Uh, I have. I I just saw him the second time where I uh, get, do. Uh, I'm assuming it's I don't know it's spoilers, but these little missions to get more summons. Yeah, you essentially do like intel to get. Yeah, yeah. I just did my first you, one. Are you doing the, the intel? One. Cause he gives you a lot. Um, I I've done like two of them because I honestly didn't really care for it. Oh really? I don't know why. I kind of like it because it yeah. gives me materia. Well, because it makes so me access like all the um people, and I don't really want to use uh-huh. the access materia. I have other I ones that it. I want to use, so I was like, no, eh, I'm I not definitely doing this. get it. No, I definitely understand that. I, yeah. I don't really want to either, but I like the the you know to get more material. no no so, yeah yeah I so i get it trust me i don't like it and i i've been playing so many final fantasies i can already guess what the what the thing is weak to already yeah so i don't even it's not even really helping yeah but, but it you know i want the other material mm. but yeah that, that's that's the impression i've had some peaks and valleys i like where i am at right now yeah um 
I I thought I was an Aerith guy with uh, Aerith and Cloud. Now Tifa all the way. Yeah, man. Say. And see, I like both, but it's like a, I I I was loving Tifa. It was awesome, but like they introduced me to Aerith, and I'm like, I don't like her. So I I need I feel like I need a they need to bring Tifa back into the story so I can have that feeling and be like, okay, I think now I should I I, I can pick. Mm-hmm. Slight, know, slightly like spoiler, but not not really. Mm. I'm excited to have everyone all at once, yes, rather yes. than staggered. Right now, it's staggered where I have like one person, yeah. then you'll have one person, then you'll have two of the other ones instead of all. And it's like I want all of them, so I, I'm I'm very excited to hit that point so I can have big synergy between all of the characters. Yeah, and it's gonna kill me because this is not the full game. So like, once we get closer to ending this game, it's not even the ending of the game, and it bothers oh, me. Oh God. I I am terrified mm-hmm. of getting to the end and being like, oh no, of liking the game and being yep. like, well, see you in five years. <laughs> you think it's gonna take that long? So, I mean, it's Square Enix. That's um, a good point. It, if they are, if they are smart, they would have already greenlighted whatever they're doing next. Mm. Albeit, an- I assume this is gonna be another. I guess. Final Fantasy Remake 2, yeah. I guess, will be made, which sounds stupid, but it's very Square Enix of them, I guess. Mm. Uh, but I guess they'll, they, I assume they've already greenlit that because there was no way this thing wouldn't have sold well. Yeah, because, uh, Jesus. Because so. as soon as I finish this, I'm going to Persona and finishing that. Same. But I want, I'm, I'm, I have a feeling that once this is done, I'm be like, give me the next part now. Mm-hmm. I am. Uh, I've seen other people beat this game who have not played the original. Go and mm-hmm. play the original. Really? Yeah, yeah. This one specific person I know on Twitter actually did it. He he posted a. Uh, it was Bl- uh, uh, Blessing Junior. Uh, Blessing uh-huh. Junior. He he posted a. Uh, he's five hours deep in the original, and he's and he's already he's feeling it. Is what he said. Really. So he's playing that. And, Maybe I'll have that hankering too. That that are actually yeah. get me through the rest because now I have visuals. Mm-hmm. You, maybe I can, you know, you can. It, you might be able to get over the uh, the walking triangles. Yeah, that they look like. So maybe that. And will see, help. you could probably take it on the go, depending on system you have. Because it wasn't it on the Vita. Yeah, it's on about everything. But yes, is it on it the is Switch? On the, that's a good question. I honestly don't know. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick. Yeah, because I know it's on your phone. Yeah, I know that, but I like. Do I really want to play it on my phone? No, no, no one does. Yeah, no one does. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I'm I'm wondering if I get to that point because I did want to play the original, but I just I I gave it like an hour and I just could not get into these polygons. It is available, by the way, on Switch. Yep. Mm, how much? Um, doesn't tell me a price. It just says available now. Hmm. Oh no, it is right here. Fifteen ninety nine. I assume that's on sale. Maybe that's regular price. Hmm. It's fifteen ninety nine right now. Interesting. I'll have to think about know. it. That would be like my th- in theory if I bought it, which I'm not. It, it would be like the third platform I have it on. Yeah. <laughs> I have it on PlayStation, Xbox, and then that would be Switch. Yeah. It's just gonna bother me. Going from like really good like redone graphics to polygons. Yeah, yeah, it it will be, but maybe it'll be easier now. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's because I what don't do know you... where everything is. I don't know. Do you like the combat? I I do. I do like the I combat. I love the combat. There's some parts that does bother me, but I do enjoy the combat more. Um, what are the negatives? Overall, um, <sighs> let me see. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. I is it the abilities? Is it the ATB gauge where you can only do certain things? Yeah, I, yeah, it's the ATB gauge for some parts. But then, like for example, I was like doing a certain um, a uh, certain boss fight or sort of like these like it's not like a boss boss fight, but it's like a mini boss fight. And yeah. it was, I was like, I was trying to use my uh th- my thing, but it was like, oh, it's, oh, it's it, it, I wasn't affected at all, but it doesn't tell me. I guess, of course, I would have to add use the, the access thing to know. But I 
I don't know. It's I'm iffy. It depends on the, because like there'll be certain times where like I don't mind it, and there'll be certain times where I do. Like okay, actually, for example, this will probably be a spoiler. Okay. Um, the character with the red hair uh, that we oh, okay. just fought recently. Um, yeah. Rude, I think. Rude. Reno. Whatever. Reno, thank you. Yeah. He was an a-hole. I did not like yes, his fight at all. Um, yes, yeah. No, that that's... Yeah, so did, did you figure out you had to dodge? Everything? Yes, I did figure out the dodge. Some people are saying you parry. I don't even know. You, how, can you parry in this game? Oh, uh, yeah. So if he goes to hit you, you <clears> can block. Oh. And if you block it, I think it messes him up. I, I rarely block unless I'm no, actually yeah. getting hit. I started dodge rolling. Um, like so you I just I just kept dodging when he hit me, and it, he kind of gets staggered. Gets, and hit he him gets pressured. Bunch. Yeah, pressured. There we go. He gets yeah. pressured, and it makes that makes the fight easier. Um, but yeah, I I just so it's very easy to get messed up in this game. Yes. I just I just fought yes, a big boss fight mm -hmm. where I was right before going to the honeybee inn. Mm -hmm. um and i'll just say what happened because it's not a spoiler so you can link materia in the game and mm -hmm. i have a specific materia that links uh an element to my sword yeah so my sword is now doing fire damage yeah and in this specific instance what i was fighting had a mode where it was immune to fire damage oh not only was it immune to fire damage it was it lessened the damage it took from swords in general <laughs> so I have no way of changing the materia actively in battle mm. in uh to 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 make it easier myself. unless you change the weapon itself and unless you either yeah change the weapon yourself prior because you can't do it while you're in game right no like, no yeah yeah i didn't think so so you had to have quit the boss and then do it and then refight the boss which yeah. did not sound appealing and i just beat him without needing to do that but that that that's that was not sure. great no, yeah. I, I wish in instance um Final Fantasy X, which is in you know now an older game, mm. uh, you could change your weapon. There was a thing where you could just switch to a different weapon because that game had elemental weapons as well. And if you were yeah. finding something that was elemental, immune, or took less damage, then you could switch to the guy. I just feel like that's an easy, yeah, interest. It, why not put that in the game? Yeah. So that, that was my main grievance with the combat, but I love it every other sense of it. Yeah, I do enjoy it most of the time. But there'll be times like that with bosses. I'm like, dude, go somewhere. Like, I mm. actually had to fight these weird scorpion things. And mm -hmm. it was like three of them. And oh, yeah, dude, those they are were pain. beating my ass. Yeah, those are those are pain. I don't love the... Um... <sighs> I'm blanking on them now, but there's certain certain things that you fight that are like god this is annoying like certain ones will put you to sleep yes you know, yes yes things, that things like i that. don't enjoy it's like then i gotta switch my character try to get uh their attention so he that person could wake up but then the health is gonna be low so i gotta heal mm -hmm. then switch then heal that person i'm like oh, i will say my. i'm not really dying see i, I i've <laughs> I haven't like you know how you all your characters die and you restart. I've done that yeah. twice. I think I've um, done it once, maybe. But dying wise, it's annoying because like I was just doing a part and it was um, of course your cloud, and I was with yeah. Aerith and the 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 uh, the enemy kept killing Aerith every time I phoenix downed her. So I like bring her back and they just kill her again. I'm like, come on, dude, move out the way. Yeah, Aerith definitely is. It needs to be protected yes <laughs> if she gets hit it's it it's a big deal yeah um but i am enjoying it most of the part like, like those you recommend it parts. for 60 dollars alex hmm you, I, i'm in the camp of i recommend it if you th if you like if you're JRPGs. gonna yeah if you're gonna if you really like final fantasy or like excuse me final fan fantasy and jrpgs then yes but if it's something new to you then uh, watch somebody else else play it. Yeah. Or try a different one first. Yeah, maybe watch uh, uh, your favorite Let's Player play yeah. a few matches and see what they think, or just wait for a sale. Yeah, because uh, everything goes on sale. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Switch firmware update adds controls remapping. Nintendo's latest feature welcomes is a great first step for accessibility. Nintendo's latest firmware update adds a feature off requested by accessibility advocates released yesterday switch firmware version 10.0.0 adds the option to remap 17 of the system buttons to perform any of the 18 button functions the home button cannot be remapped 
Just in the right and left analog mm -hmm. joysticks can be swapped for one another and up to five custom configurations that can be saved in the system for users to swap between. Going to disability advocates at Able Gamers, uh, which is a, a great, uh, uh, I guess you'd say, organization. Uh, mm -hmm. Nintendo has trailed other console makers when it comes to uh, accessibility features. In 2017, Able Gamers COO called on Nintendo to add system level controller remapping, saying the company was, quote, still the worst, end quote, when it came to accessibility <laughs> issues. Spawn noted that Nintendo. And by the way, they don't mention the full name. His name is Steven Spawn. He's the COO of Able Gamers. Um, okay. uh, he noted that, that the Nintendo was the only platform holder at the time to prevent the use of third-party peripherals like those some disabled gamers rely on. Microsoft mm. would actually make its own such product with the Xbox Adaptive Controller the following year. So that is now like a new thing. Yeah. So that's cool. You can now remap any controller on your uh, Joy-Con or Pro Controller. Yep. It's crazy um, if, because I decided not to do that. So I have tried out the normal way uh, most games are played, like on PS4 and Xbox, with yep. the bottom control. The, the bottom is like the interact button, and yeah. then the right button is the cancel. Yeah. And boy, is it hard to unlearn it already because I've been playing a hundred and something hours of Animal Crossing, mm. and so it is hard like to a, unlearn. Do you like it better like that, or? I actually switched it back because I just I, it has to be a different game. Yeah, it does because I I'm tried already, the same thing. I'm already on the boat with with the messed up controls, so yeah. I, I, it's just it's too it much work you're, to remember. You're, you're so used to it already. Yeah, I'm already I'm already on the boat of of the weird control scheme on Animal Crossing. I will switch for a new game, for instance, Breath of the Wild Two, for instance. I'll try and switch for that one. Yeah. Um, but but the the way it is right now, I I gotta leave it. I'm, my brain's learned it. I gotta I gotta leave it now. Yep, that's how I was. I was like, I can't change it now. And then there's some avatars that were um, also added. If that is something you'd like, you can change the picture to Animal Crossing characters. Um, they added I uh, roughly ten of them, I think, maybe a little more. Boy, Tom uh, Nook himself. Yes, Tom Nook and Tim and Tommy. Tim and Tommy. Uh, you can pretend to be the raccoon boys. Yep. All right, moving on. WWE 2K20 reportedly canceled in favor of new game. Former developer claims 2K will publish a different title following 2K20's woes. 2K22 will skip next gen. James Batchelor uh, over on GameIndustry.biz writes this up. Reports have emerged that 2K Games will not be publishing its usual annual wrestling title this year. Justin Leeper, who previously wrote narrative for early year WWE Games, published a video sharing details on big changes to the series this year. Quote, I have heard from reliable sources and I truly believe that WWE 2K21 has been canceled. End quote. There will be no game this year. He also pointed to the fact that this year's WrestleMania event, historically used as a platform to announce or tease the next WWE game, featured no such news. According to Ringside News, Leaper previously shared insight on why 2K20 uh, suffered so many issues. GameIndustry.biz has reached out to 2K for comments. In this video, Leaper said these issues influenced the design to scrap the game and suggested the series would benefit from a year off. He alluded to changes behind the scenes, most likely the split between 2K and the series' longtime developer, Ux. The current developer of Visual Concepts needs more time to become better accustomed with the process of making these games. Leaper also suggested that the COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted production and distribution, which also affected 2K's plans. However, while his opening claims that there will be no traditional WWE 2K this year, he did hint that a, quote, palate cleanser is on the way. I ha uh, quote, I have heard also that there is another WWE game this year that 2K is publishing a different kind of WWE game from a different kind of developer that's not visual uh, concepts. I could say more on that, but I won't because I've already probably pissed off a lot of people <laughs> at 2K, end quote. <laughs> that's the best. Yeah. <laughs> uh, finally, Lee proclaimed next year's game, which he referred to as 2K22, will not be on the next generation consoles. Instead, it will be it will still be released for PS4, Xbox One, and quote, probably PC, end quote. Jesus. WWE 2K suffered several technical issues around launch. Even as late as New Year's, complaints over the title even prompted Sony to offer full refunds to PlayStation owners. Huh? That's Whew. how bad it was. Big report, um, and I guess not too surprising when your game assumingly flops as it did. 
Yeah. Um, I do not look up sales numbers, but you can't have that much negative precedent and not affect sales in some way. No, no, for sure. I, I think don't we talked think about I it heard... uh, actually around that time, uh, saying, yeah. uh, talking and making fun of, uh, yeah, because we went over <laughs> the T- Kotaku article that showed off the glitches and they were glitching on like the, yep. the, the ropes and they were well, we floating. Had a, uh, we have a friend there who plays these games and he uh, bought it. We asked him, remember? And he was like, mm-mm, no. Yeah, he's like, this, uh, this is nuts. And yeah. hey, good good for them. In quote, I, I guess in quotes, because it seems like they've got the hint that you know if you're gonna make these games, take your time first. And also, it seemed pretty on the nose that hey, yeah, they didn't work out because they switched halfway through to a different developer, mm-hmm. and they had no idea what they were doing. It seems, and they just kind of shat the bed on this. I was just reading something. It said that uh, WW2K20 was branded worst game of 2019. Whew. Whew. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess, right? I assume mm-hmm. a worst quote, quote unquote worst game came out that year, but I mean, if you can't play the game, then yeah, it's pretty it's pretty yeah. bad. I'm curious if it's working now. I assume uh, it is, but not. I have I have no <laughs> problem not. I wonder if the actual game itself is broken um, rather than it I wonder be. if it's something you can even patch uh, for certain issues. I mean, um, it doesn't look like they have yet. <laughs> there was that cool event. I don't know if you saw this, Alex. Um, it was called Dream Match Mania. Uh, no, the, and not. it was hosted by Austin Creed over on Up, Up, Down, Down, which is a fun YouTube channel. Mm. And what he did was him and a, his one of his buddies would comment over a WWE 2K20 game. Uh, and they did the Dream Match, like what, what their Dream Matches would be. So oh, I think one was like, I got gotcha, you. One yeah. was like John Cena and... Uh, uh hulk hogan yeah, yeah, yeah. um I goldberg remember. and some other people so it was it was pretty cool I, um i didn't finish watching it but i mean it, it was it was cool especially since they're commenting over uh i think they put the the computer on like expert and like had them fight each other or something oh god like yeah so th- that was cool yeah that's interesting but yeah, yeah. Ho- i'm Hopefully glad that we get good wwe games yeah I used I to play know. them a lot, actually. Uh, I my favorite at one, SmackDown vs. Raw. <sighs> really? I didn't care for the 2K ones. I thought we played 2K13. Well, we like we played it. That's the one with uh, CM Punk on the cover, right? 2K13. So. That sounds that sounds right. Okay, it's either that 2K or 12. 12 is the Maybe. one with 12 is with Randy Orton. Randy Orton, Orton. yeah. That's it. Okay, yeah. I think the 2K13 is the one where I really played, and then I was like, nah. It's not the same as SmackDown was raw, so I really like the one in. I don't know if you guys know this one. Tweet at me or put it in the comment what it is. But I really like the one where you got to play as uh, uh, Degeneration X as a story. Uh... Um, it wasn't fully DX. I think it was. Um, it was play the Attitude Era. That's what it was. Mm. It was the Attitude Era, and you played through sections of the Attitude Era, like what defined that, like maybe year or few months. And that was awesome. And then you had to do certain criterias to make mm. it l- like the real one or something. It, it was uh, cool. It was, it fun. was WWE 13. What was it 13? Yeah. Nice. Hey. It was Attitude Era was... Mode uh, Rise of DX. I liked I liked that one. And then there was yep. one other one I feel like I liked, but I don't remember it. Maybe it was 16 or something like that. Well, um, is that, I think that's the one that was Stone Cold, right? The Stone Cold Story one? E Probably. Yeah, that that one I like too. I think. Yeah, that sounds right. So I like that one too. So these were fun. Nothing mm-hmm. I've gone yeah, out was. and actually bought though. Most mm-hmm. of these things I've got for free through something, or pay or got on a sale. Yeah, like because I, I rarely think actually we buy tried them. these through. What was it? not EA Access? Probably but games like, with gold. Yeah, games with gold. That's how I got sixteen. Yep, that's usually how I get these, and I don't ne- necessarily buy them. I just get them yep. through those types of links moving on us fortnite season two is being extended season three start date announced this is by kevin huh nesvik yeah i nailed it season two of fortnite <laughs> chapter two is being extended developer epic games has announced this season was originally scheduled to end later this month on april 30th but it will now run until june 4th which is a, it's a big uh, big jump uh, when yeah, season three of battle royale game is planned to begin 
Now that season two will be running for several more weeks, Epic says there will be, quote, lots, end quote, of additional content coming to the game. Uh, vehicles, quote, we have hopefully. multiple game updates on the way that will deliver fresh gameplay, new challenges, bonus XP, and a couple more surprises up our sleeves, end quote, the developer teased in a blog post. Hopefully they have more than just boats. I haven't even seen one helicopter, but I haven't played that much, so I don't know. Alex? Hmm? Exhibit A! Oh God! Is being brought up right now. <laughs> <laughs> As uh, there we was, speak, there was a leak. This is over on Forbes. This was posted 15 hours ago. <laughs> I don't know why I added that. Paul Tassie. Fortnite season two week nine Deadpool X Force skin challenges leaked. Mm-hmm. You thought you were done with Deadpool and Fortnite just because we unlocked the skin and all its gear, and he threw a giant yacht party. Well, yep. guess again, as there are still new weekly Deadpool challenges coming and probably will be for all 10 weeks of the season, although it's now been extended well past that we just discussed. Chapter 2, Season 2, Week 9's Deadpool challenges have just leaked online, and we have a special skin variant to unlock the white suit export style Deadpool. That's cool. Um, he will have both mask on and mask off variants. Um, if you want to know the challenges, it's fine. Deadpool shirts, his pants. Wait a minute. Um, wait a minute. X-Force, right? That's what you just said? Yeah, X Force. Isn't X Force te- the suit technically gray, not white? Did he? Did I say white? It That's, is tech. Eh, it's like if the eh, article says white, it's, it's like I mean, an X Force is it's like gray. An ash gray. It's like an ash gray. Yeah, Close it's to not white. white though. Eh, I would call it gray. I'd say gray myself, but X-Force. I could see. I, I can see an argument for the white. I would say gray. <laughs> I didn't think this would trigger you so much alec it just it it, it bothers me okay <laughs> uh and also there were leaked cable psylocke and um uh what's the other girl name why do i and domino skins oh, so those will be gotcha. purchasable there will be an x-force bundle you can buy and i assume you can buy these all X-Con separately give it to you x go give it to you <laughs> <laughs> x gonna deliver it to you uh but yeah so again cable Psylocke mm-hmm. and Domino will be purchasable at some point around this time, most likely. So you can have a full X Force uh, squad rolling in deep. Give me Wolverine, I'll be okay. Oh, stop, Alex! Stop! You're getting me excited. Give me Logan. Yes, old man Logan, maybe. Yep. That'd be dope. Hey, we're getting close to the point where X Men are going to be a thing mm-hmm. uh, again, which is yep. exciting. I don't know if you saw this. This was very small, but in Disney Plus, they added the X Men as their avatars. So oh. we're getting close to them. Them start marketing these these guys. Yeah, it's exciting because you know we're getting MCU movies mm-hmm. eventually. Um, we'll get Fantastic Four first, but eventually yeah. we're gonna get these movies, and it's gonna be hyped. Yeah. Did you see that? Uh, John Krasinski is actually in the talks with Marvel right now for for something. Oh. So maybe oh. he's going to be, because a lot of people are saying he they want him to be Reed Richards. Mm. And then, of course, Emily Blunt to be Invisible Woman, because they're always oh. in movies together. Alex? Hmm. This is everything I've ever wanted. A good fin- Fantastic Four movie? Yes. Any good one, really. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be greedy. I just want good. Yeah. Like, watchable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm excited to see that, Alex. Moving on. Animal Crossing New Horizons sex event is Earth Day. Again, this is by Kevin Nesvik. Hmm. Animal Crossing's Bunny Day event has ended, much to relief of players Thank everywhere. God. Thank God, yes. I uh, hate but it as Nintendo eggs. has it's too many eggs. Why is yeah. every balloon an egg? Why? Why is everything Why? I, every time I want I think I have a fossil, it's an egg. It is always an egg. Killed Sorry him. about that, ladies and gentlemen. But as the Nintendo previously teased, an Earth Day event is also slated to take place in the game soon. This year's Earth Day falls on April 22nd, which is presumably around when New Horizons event will be held, given that the series typically matches up with, with the world with a calendar. Um, and that is in a week of recording as of posting. It's a little less than a week, but five days. Mm-hmm. So exciting. Just more event stuff. Uh, uh, obviously, it's slow news week, so we're just yeah. picking what we can get, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is a small, quick one I uh, just wanted to bring up to you guys. Most likely, every gaming event will be canceled until 2021. I'm sure that's pretty obvious to everyone right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, there is concerns that most likely next year's events will be canceled as well. Oh, there was mention 
that Gamescom is going digital only for this year and most likely next year is, is what they said. Um, so prepare for that, I guess. So prepare for not E3 coming back either, I guess. Yeah, it will be digital. Everything will be digital. We'll be staring into our screens, all watching it together, though. You know um, what that reminds me of? It reminds me of that Black Mirror episode with that dude. Was it, everybody lives in those uh, squares and they all watch TV on their like on their walls or whatever? And it's like a right. Yeah, that that's what it reminds me of. We're gonna end up mm-hmm. being. And I mean, hey, if you guys are desperate for some sort of human interaction or social interactions, there's a lot of Netflix watch parties you could do if you have Netflix. Um, or if you just want to, you know, rent whatever they're watching, you can all do that. There's cool things where you can partner up with some people and then watch a Netflix party together. There's like extensions yeah. now that you can download that syncs it up for you, and you can chat and things like that. Maybe we'll do one too. We'll watch a movie all together. Did you um, did you see that this thing is probably going to keep going till 2022? That's terrifying. Yeah, um, I'm very curious if we'll be able to survive that as a as social an and, econ- and economic reasons. Yes. Yeah. Um, that is uh, terrifying, and yeah, a lot of jobs might be lost. So, be well out there and be safe. Stay away, stay home. Yeah, don't touch people. Um, and wash your hands. Jesus, it's not wash your hands. hands. I'm gonna wa- I'm gonna wash my hands right now. Yep. I, All I right. Wash, if I I don't wash right my now. hands. <laughs> Look, I have <laughs> I, I have Germix on each, on all my keychains. I just use WD40 on my hands. I think it's the same thing. I mean, is it though? I think so. I don't know. It does something to my hands. <laughs> I don't, it, well, that's yeah. It I tingles. Like, Alex, I feel like WD forty is like in between Germex and gasoline. I don't know. <laughs> Gets the job done though. Yep. <laughs> oh, moving on. This is a uh, wrapping up for the days uh, for this week's news. Uh, this PC games bundle is seriously incredible and supports a great cause. Um, this is over on, um, I think GameSpot. Sorry, I forgot to write the thing. Uh, 2K is offering its own stellar, humble bundle with a portion of 2K's revenue going towards another organization that is combating the pandemic, the International Medical Corporation. Like other humble bundles, you can pick what you pay with more PC games and locking at each of the three tiers. The Game Together bundle is, uh, is valued at roughly $500, but you can get all 13 games for only $20 total until April 28th. At 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, um, and what is that? I think it's 1 p.m. Central or 3 p.m. Central. I already forget. Um, hmm. But for just one dollar or more, you can get Darkness 2, Spec Ops Online, Sid Meier's Pirates, and Car- uh, Carnival Games VR. Um, Spec Ops Online is one of the most thought-provoking military shooters ever made. While Darkness 2 is an underappreciated gem of a first-person shooters. I echo everything that was just said. That is 100% true. Those games are incredible. Yeah, there's Darkness a lot. Darkness 2 is one of my favorite shooters. God, um, it's so good. It's so year. fun. Uh, I don't, was that 2011? Darkness 2? Yeah. I can check for you. Uh, check for me. That, that uh, I don't, I can't, I'm, I'm terrible with memory, but Darkness 2 and Spec Off the Lines, those were like the best shooters of the year. Um, especially Spec Off the Line. It was very um, uh, yeah, serious. Darkness 2 was 2012. You're correct. Oh wow! I can't believe that. Yeah, um, February second, and then Spec Ops. I think that was my. I think Spec Ops the line was twenty twelve as well. Twenty twelve. Yep. Oh, oh, both the same year. Both very good though. Yes, and if you pay good. the average contribution, currently eleven oh nine, you unlock four additional games: Bioshock the Collection, which is three games, which is yep. insane. Technically, yeah. The Golf Club twenty nineteen featuring PGA Tour, Sid Meier's Civilization three complete, and NBA two K Playgrounds two. Um, and of course, Which, that collection. game came out last year. Yeah, that is. Yeah, it did actually. You're right. So you yep. get a, a new game for yep. what, like eleven dollars. Mm-hmm. Um, but those are all pretty, pretty good games. I especially love Bioshock the Collection. That gives you all three Bioshock games that are in mm-hmm. the series. And Sid Meier's uh, Civilization Three is very fun, um, albeit a little dated now, uh, graphical wise, but it's still a fun Civilization game. Yeah. And then throw in $20 or more, and you'll get five more 2K games, including last year's sports offering, NBA 2K20 and WWE 2K20, even though we just spent the last, uh, like, 20 minutes shitting on that game. Uh, you can get it if you like. The t- $20 <laughs> tier also comes with Borderlands The Handsome Jack Collection, Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced, and XCOM e- e- Enemy cool. Unknown Completed yeah. Edition. It's crazy. And then, of course, The Handsome Collection compiles Borderlands 2 and... The pre-sequel. All that for $20. Yeah. 
Yeah, you got a lot. I think of I'll do stuff. this. I think I'll actually do this. I thought it's about 20 it. Bucks to a I, good, used to, I used to do good, humble uh, bundle. Yeah, I mean it's a good cause too, right? You yeah. get to go towards um uh helping people. Yes, <laughs> I don't know yes. why I blanked on that. <laughs> uh I've, yeah. I think I've done Humble Bundle one other time. How do I? So how mm -hmm. do you do this? You literally just do you just go on? Yeah, you just, as long as uh, once you have a an account, you just go on there and you get the pack, and then it's and then it uh, oh, yeah. gives so, you yeah. so once you have that, much. it um, gives you each code per game. So you have to put in each code. I see. Got it. Okay. All right. Dope. Yeah, I'll yep. definitely do this. I will do this in one second. Yep. Alex. Hmm. We're slowly running down this week. Yep. Uh, it was a good week for me, at least. Um, but, uh, Alex, I have one question. What are you going to play? More Final Fantasy. Hopefully, I can beat it in the next couple days. Because I really want to get back to Persona. Yeah, I'm uh, feeling some Persona, I'm, too, I'm which itching. is surprising. I'm itching for it. Yeah, it's and it's crazy because, remember, I've never, I have never, I couldn't get into it when it first came out. And now when I played this one, I'm like, oh, I have to go back. Are you worried that um, once you beat Final Fantasy VII, you won't care to go back? What do you mean? Uh, to uh, Persona. Oh no, I I I know for a fact I will go back. Okay, because you're just you're like so excited just to play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I literally I'm like half the time I'm like walking around fighting with Cloud, uh, like when I'm walking around and not fighting, I am thinking it was like, uh, what palace is the next one? Mm-hmm. And you were like, like thinking, like, mm. like what is what is Ryuji doing right now? His, his what is he self. doing? What's he doing, that silly man? Right? Are Morga you, is Morgana um, really a cat? I gotta find out. <laughs> yeah. Is it is it a boy? Is it a cat? Is it something else? I don't know. Uh, I am very excited to get to what different in the game. Barrett Courtney on Twitter tweeted mm -hmm. out that he recently beat it. Ooh. And the very last palace that they added to the game is mm. crazy mm -hmm. and and extremely sad. So I'm excited to see oh, what that means. Oh, no. Because uh, I know all of the palaces and I know why they're palaces. And mm -hmm. I'm very curious on what the last one is and why it's so sad. Yeah. So I'm excited. Yeah, my goal in the game, hopefully, hopefully that it's it's reachable. I want to be able to have all, all my uh, stars on everybody's like you know the kind of like the loyalty thing like have everybody stars up for friend all the confidants. Mm -hmm. I want everybody's up. That yeah. that is hard. I know it, it is. is, oh, it is I'm gonna try at least do, do the ones that I want. Yeah. I believe when I did it, I got. Mm. Uh, I think almost everyone in my party mm. maxed except two. I want to say. Okay. I for sure had at least three, maybe four or five. I, I don't remember, yeah. but you get you get a decent party. I don't know. I, do you know yeah. who you everyone? Do you know like the number of people you get? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, yeah. So you get a decent amount of people. So I'm surprised. Yeah. On your, uh, on when you get them. Yeah, because I was about to say I think I'm because from right now I feel like I'm missing three people. You're missing more than that. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Is it really? I uh, actually. You, I have the, the you, I have the artist right. guy. Mm, you might be right. Then. So right now eh, I have no. yeah, five. Yeah, there's a few more total people. There's a few, including more. me. You'd get more. So oh, you've caught up to me, by the way. What? You've caught up to me. I didn't know. Oh really? Yeah, that's where I am. Oh yeah. No, I'm. The I'm. Second palace, getting him. The oh yeah no I already. The palace with the. Do you talk about? Okay, if anybody hasn't played Persona, spoilers. Um, you talking about the museum palace, right? Yeah. Yeah, I ju I think I just finished it, or I'm about to finish it, because I took his treasure. I just took the treasure out of that second palace. Oh, you would. Oh, you did. Yeah, I took the treasure. Like you, like you beat the palace. Like the yeah, yeah, and everything. yeah, yeah, yeah. I beat the palace, and they opened the thing, and oh, it's like, a, and, and it's like, a, and it's like, a, it's supposed to be like a picture of the mother or whatever of the the guy's mother. Oh yeah, no. So now you you're way past me. Yeah, so I still I, have to do the whole palace. I I I hit the point where you have to uh, unlock the door in the real world. You know, like oh, when you have to yeah. get him to open it in his yeah, head. Yeah, I hit yeah, that yeah, point. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, no, I've been past that already. 
Yeah, so oh, I gotta catch up to you now. I'll beat this yeah. game and, and hit Persona, and we'll we'll play yep. through Persona. And yeah. of course, we'll have a spoiler cast for Final Fantasy VII remake. That'll be very exciting. Yes. And what I'm curious on where this ends. Uh, and um, I'm I'm already excited to do the spoiler cast, which is which is fun. Yes, and I'm wondering if uh, it it'll incline me to play the original. Because I'm really debating on getting it on the Switch, but I think I have it on the Vita already, so I might dust off the Vita and just play it on there. I'm I'm close to to being like, mm, I feel like I might because this is something we haven't really talked about, and and the audience probably hasn't really thought about it either. But I mean, we're hitting a drought. Yeah, I think I'm a. Uh, that's why games. I was like, that's why I'm a wait till I after I beat Persona, and if I feel like I'm inclined to go back, I'll go back after. Okay. Because we have no games, I mean, Nothing. of consequence until, nope. in theory, June, which is not yeah, happening. Because May was supposed uh, to be Last Ghost, of Us. Yeah, and Ghost of Tsushima is scheduled for June. That game is not coming out in June. If they delayed oh, Last God, of Us, no. yeah, then, they're not releasing Ghost of Tsushima. No. Um, That's why I was like, I'm scared for my collector's edition. I don't know if I'll receive that now. Y- you will once they f- do their thing. Um, Eventually eventually yes i'm so sorry Alex. like eventually. do i really like well because my thing is like what if they do this whole thing to be like oh the digital release is gonna ha- uh, the digital one is gonna release early so am i really gonna wait now and and just get the digital one now or wait till the collector's edition one to play? now it, to, to know no digital game has done that yet yeah so that's not a single thing. digital game has released early so it's it's clear that they don't want to do that no one mm. has released a digital version early. The physicals have. At um, uh, I know. Well, to be fair, Final Fantasy really did, but that was like their... ten days. No, that was only physical games. No, the digital one was releasing early to people, and then we got, and then the physical ones were received. No, that's op- No, you're. That's the opposite. Really? Ten. Yeah. So physicals were out. Oh. Digitals were the same. The same day. Like oh, same day. that's what it was. Okay, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Guys like Panda Musk that were in Australia were getting the game the game gotcha, way early. Gotcha, gotcha, because gotcha. Because they didn't know they were able to reach them, but I guess gotcha. they reached them immediately because he got it that's like right. the next day. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, were there? There. Uh, the, yeah. So that that's what happened. And no one's releasing their game digitally before. It seems pretty clear. Animal mm. Crossing didn't do it. Doom didn't do it. Final Fantasy didn't do it. So I don't think Last of Us will either. Well, I mean, I'm wondering if Last of Us will release the digital one on the day of release, and then the people who will have the collector editions, I have to hold off. No, I don't. I don't think so. I, don't think like so? I said, we haven't. No, because we haven't seen it yet. And I, I had collector editions of of uh, games I saw wait. Yeah. And uh, sorry, not wait. Uh, uh, come early, and then it releases a day early. And then mm. digital is always the same. Digi- no digital game has come out early yet. So yeah. I just, it seems like there's something that either they don't want to do it or they, mm. they, they just really don't want to do it, I think. Yeah. I just really want to play Last of Us. <laughs> I think everyone really wants to play Last of Us, Alex. Yes. Alex, mm. that is this week's episode of the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. Do you have anything to leave the audience? No, hurry this up so I can go play Final Fantasy. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, audience, but I really <laughs> I really wanted to play this game. It, it, it comes from his mouth to my ears. That is this week's episode of the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this, you can, of course, always head over to patreon.com slash Easy Achievers. Give us a buck. It gives you the exclusive every single month of additional content and a guaranteed uh, uh, read off of your question. And again, we will say anything you put on there. <laughs> I dare you. Uh, I'll read anything. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, freeloaders every Friday, you can hit us up. Uh, you can give us like, comment, subscribe, five star reviews everywhere you can. That helps a lot. Thank you guys so much for listening. We will see you next week. Go achieve. Go achieve, guys. <laughs>